So we're going to ear tag, or genetically ear tag, this ram. Um, the ear tag number in his ear, right there, must match this ear tag number here. So you can see the um, 643 there. And then I have to load the male and female part on this tag, ear tag apparatus, then punch it through his ear. Now I better load it, I'll take two hands. Okay, so this part here, this is the vial, which will have the genetic stuff in it. Goes in this way, goes into the bottom. Then this part of the tag goes into the top and is secured. So hopefully, and the, 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 the vial is sealed. So I then put this in the ear. This is gonna be the fun part. I hope I can do this okay without too much trouble. <sighs> now, I don't want to drop the vial. I haven't. So now his ear has been punctured. And I have, in this vial, his genetic flesh that will now be tested for DNA in this tiny little vial. So that's how I do this. Now I've got to do the rest of them. So the vial goes in the bottom one, and this, the top, goes in the top one. Now, let's see if I can do another sheep. Okay. He's gonna reverse on me now. Can you move? I'm having a little bit of an issue here. There we go. I released it. I got the vial. With some of his genetic code in it. That is the second one done. I'd be really careful because I didn't want to get head butted by him on the other side. So fingers crossed this worked. And each time I take the vial, this vial, and I put it in this little plastic bag. And then this gets sent, posted off to Weatherby's to get genetically uh, analyzed. Good boys. Okay. Now, there's probably going to be a bit of, yep, there's going to be fighting. Now, they haven't been together in a while, but they're in a small space. So hopefully, Hopefully uh, there'll be a bit of fighting and then they'll remember each other. No user in the vicinity, but there's a pecking order that has to be reestablished. So that's what's happening. 
So they're gonna be fighting like crazy. I put this big strong metal gate in here. So they'll hit against this and not these wooden ones. These wooden ones wouldn't hold. But the rams, if they're battering each other, the metal gates will hold better. And this gives this better strength, having that metal gate there. So I lifted that over. So it'll be a few days of rough housing, re-establishing pecking water and all those kind of things. But I now have the genetics of five of my rams. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the ra one ram lamb I didn't do. And yeah, they're definitely having fights. But this is to basically reestablish packing order so that they can live with each other through the winter. So they'll be in here for about a week or 10 days. They have plenty of hay, as you can see. And I've got to refill this. One of them already fell in it and dirtied the water. So, but I'm not gonna give them clean, fresh water just yet because they'll just keep tipping it over and wetting their bed. So I will wait until they've settled down a bit later before I refill their water.